Hey everybody, welcome to this week's market update where we're going to take a great look of February 2022 compared to February 2021. And I got some great graphs at the end that I think you guys are going to love and be a little surprised on. So stay tuned. So get excited. Got some great information here today. So starting off, we got Orange County. Orange County, February 2021 to 2022, saw a decrease in the amount of homes sold due to the slowing down of inventories because listings are still a little bit scarce, um, but not too bad off. Uh, median sales price, however, jumped 10%. So your median sales price in Orange County is definitely up, but the days in market is almost down twofold. So uh, now let's look at some of the cities in Orange County, which they're a little bit all over the place in February, but uh, Maitland and Winter Park are a little bit down on the median sales price, but Winter Garden, Ocoee, and Apaca are way up. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. If you're going to those cities, the median price is going up. And if you buy today, you're going to be loving life next year. So solds, overall, we've seen a decrease in Orange County, which is to expect it. Um, anyone out there that's looking in the Orange County area knows that homes are not available. And when they are, they're gone like that. Now let's move on over to Seminole County. Seminole County also down on inventory, um, a little bit in there. And then median sales price though for the county is up 16.44%, while days on market is almost cut twofold as well, 14 to eight days. Now let's look at some of the cities in the area. So we got some moderate growth in Calisbury Winter Springs, um, but Oviedo, Oviedo is definitely up there. Um, Sanford though, Sanford is definitely flying. Um, Sanford's where you can find some of the bargain homes out there. Um, and then because of that, you got a lot more buyers that that's the area that they can afford and it's driving up that market. Uh, Lake Mary's also picking up the pace a little bit. Um, and if you look over at Solds, again, for the most part, inventory is down. But in Sanford and Longwood, they actually sold more homes this year than they did last year in February. Now moving on to Osceola, which was, I think, the bigger surprise. Uh, Osceola sold homes. They're almost 10% greater than last year. So they actually had an increase on the amount of homes that they sold with a 20, almost 25% median increase. And their days on market was cut from 29 days to nine days. So Osceola is one of the hotter markets, which if you think about it, you got Disney out there, um, you, there are a lot of tourist areas. So there's a lot of short-term rental opportunities. So it's really driving that market, especially on the investor side. Now let's move on over into the cities that we kind of take a look at in Osceola. Uh, Kissimmee is up 24%. St. Cloud is up 22%. Big shocker, Point Siena sold zero homes in the month of February, both months. So not a good time. If you're looking in Point Siena, you didn't find a single home. Um, sold, St. Cloud was slightly down, but Kissimmee, Kissimmee's driving the way. Now let's move over to Lake County. Lake County coming in strong. Um, they're slightly up with the amount of homes that they sold. Uh, median sales price, though, is also up 23%. And they slashed those days on market, cut them in half. Now, with the cities over there, uh, which Lake County is always interesting, but median sales price is up. If you're living in Sorrento, Sorrento, I mean, granted, they don't have a lot of homes sold, so it doesn't take that much, but a lot of the higher-end homes are selling out in Sorrento. So median sales price for February month over month is up a lot um, for that area. But for the most part, I mean, Mount Dora is up 30%, 23%. And Groveland, Clearmount's up 21%. I mean, things are moving. And then for the amount of solds, Mineola had a nice jump, but they don't have that many homes to sell out in that area. But, you know, things are moving in Lake County, that's for sure. Now let's go ahead and hit up Volusia. Also increase in sold homes. Uh, medium sales price is up about 20% year over year for February. And the days in market was cut down to 10. Now I'll just go ahead and move over into some of the cities we look and service. Uh, Deltona is at 21%, Deland's at 13, 
15% in DeBerry. Um, sold though, they're pretty right around the same pace as they were in 2021. So not much change there. And if it did, it's slightly like six less homes sold in Deltona, which is not that big of a difference. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some fun graphs. So your month's supply, uh, and this is kind of breaking it down based off the different brackets for our five counties in the month of February this year. So you got about a half a month supply for anything 250,000 and below, uh, 250 to 500.6 months, uh, one full month for 500 to 750, then two months, 750 to a million, and almost three months for a million plus. So as you can imagine, the higher the price point, the longer it's going to sit on the market. But still, for the most part, if you're buying anything 750,000 and below, this chart tells me that home's only gonna last a month at max. Now, sold current solds in February to the current listings that are in February, or current listings that are today, just to give you an idea. Um, the best way to look at this, again, this graph tells us anything 750 and below are going on hotcakes. Um, your sweet spot looks to be between 250 and 500 uh, based off the big differential there. And then of course, 250s and below is also going pretty fast and it starts slowing down as you get to that $750,000 range. And then the tides turned where you actually have more listings than homes sold at the higher price points. But now if you look at sales price as a percentage of list price, this one is also eye-opening, telling us nothing we didn't just already explain, but homes 750 and below are going fast. And even at 750 to a million, you're still getting about the exact same price that you listed for. So they're still pretty hot when the good homes hit. And you start, as you get up into higher price points, things are a little more negotiable because they're going to sit a little bit longer. And, you know, sometimes the cost of holding isn't worth it. So for those sellers, they might take a little bit of a cut off of it to make it happen. But still, I mean, the fact that you list it and you're get almost guaranteed to get higher than what you're listing it for based off this graphs is a good thing for sellers. So it also should be put in perspective for the buyers, what will happen when you list a home, when you're going after a home. Don't think you can negotiate down, especially in those price brackets. So a little bit of my takeaway, if you could see it, Osceola is on fire. So they're selling more homes. Their median price is at 25% almost. I mean, it's big, big, big there. Um, things are just flying. We'll see how March is next month. Uh, we can also see a shift in purchasing power or purchasing from Orange to Seminole County, moving towards more of the bordering counties of the Volusia Lake counties. Um, Osceola, we don't talk about Brevard, but I bet you we're moving over there too. So something to really just think about there on um, the Orange and Seminole. People want to be there, but because of the way the market is, less homes for sale, people holding on to what they have, low inventory, it's pushing people out to some of the rural areas. And then, of course, in our current low inventory state, I'm predicting this is, this is going to be the norm for 2022. Um, facts are facts, but everything looks hot, and we know we have low inventory. So I don't predict anything like that changing. So here's ways that you can connect with me. Please follow me on my YouTube channel. I would love for you to drop some comments of what you think on here because I'd love to hear what everyone thinks of some of this information. It's always every month when I do this, mind boggling some of the statistics I see and what the market looks like. But you know, I hope you all enjoyed. And I look forward to hearing from you and follow me and we'll talk later. Ciao, y'all.